Well, alright, hello guys, Hello Dawn Productions 1 here today with yet another video. Well, today, guys, what we are doing is something of much interest. Sorry if it sounds like I'm dying. Um, I have a really bad cold right now. Um, I'm sorry. But what we're doing today is uh, making this cool text. I'm going to teach you how to make this. Okay. So, here we go. Let's open a new project. Um, okay. So, first thing you're going to start off with doing is, um, insert text media right here. So, there, you're going to click that. Um, I'm going to make it say, cool text, and then highlight it, 52, maybe go over here, look up to that. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, I'm going to go like that. It's white right now, but... Change that. Um, right, it starts at five. I I like to bring it down to like, um, three seventy five or I'm sorry, no, not three seventy five. Uh, somewhere right over around, right around here. It depends. Play it. How long do you want it to be? Okay, whatever. Bring it down to like that. Okay, so now um, what we need to do is go to Light Rays and Video Effects. So Video Effects. Scroll down to Light Rays and click the ambient red spotlight and drag that on the cool text now this screen is going to pop up um, I'm going to move it over here so I can see our thing right here um, what you're going to do right away is go down here and click animate and make this smaller uh, oh no, no. Hey, that happens. okay uh, and you see you have a timer right down here this is keyframing you don't know what keyframing is, uh, I'm not really going to go deep into it, so go to another tutorial. Um, so what you're going to do right here is you're going to go to the X, or you can just drag it, but I always like to do this so it stays even. Type zero right there, click, it's going to be at zero. You're going to insert a keyframe by adding a plus. Then you bring it all the way to the end, um, and you go to the X again, and type, oh, whoops, I clicked F1, sorry. You go all the way to the end, go to X, type 1, click that, okay, so it's going to be at way over there, add, it, add the keyframe. And so then right there it's going to look like this. It's kind of cool, but as you can see the edges don't really fill in. So we're going to click this event FX, screen thing right there, and open this up and we're going to turn the radius up. And uh, we want the Y radius to go up. Bring that up just a little bit. 247. Oh, yep. Bring, um, add a keyframe. Bring this over here. Make this the same as the other one. 247. Add a keyframe. And then, oh my god, no, we want 247. Wait, wait, hang on. Point two four seven. Yeah. Uh, hang on. We have to manually do it, I guess. Oh, wait. And okay, four seven. Make keyframe because we want it to stay the same. So there we go. It fills in a little bit better. <laughs> cool text, but it's not really cool yet. It's just red. We're gonna make it multicolored. Um. So make it multicolored again. You click this little green thing down here, Event FX. Um, scroll down right here. Um, you're gonna have this color thing right here. So right away, you already have a keyframe right here. You're gonna move it up a little bit to wherever you want. Move this a little bit. So like right here, it's about one fourth. I'm gonna move this about one fourth. Add a keyframe. Move this up here. Move this up here. Add a keyframe. Move. I don't know why it's going back. Move. Add a keyframe. Move over here. And it's going to go all the way back here. Move it up. And then add a keyframe. Fix out of that. And you're going to end up with this. So it changes colors, which is pretty freaking cool. So, with this, uh, there's a lot of things you can do. It can help you make your intro, like it can say your YouTube name whatever on it. It can 
act as like you're trying to demonstrate something. I don't know. But you could insert this into like a video of some sort. Um. So yeah. All right, guys. So I just threw a video on there. Whoops. Of a bear eating. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to events pan and crop. The cool text and uh, oh, it keeps going up there. And then I'm gonna move it so that the cool text is on the top. Seems pretty cool. <laughs> okay. Um. And so yeah, the cool text is now on the top. And um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to generate. Uh, go to generated media. Ooh, I don't know why it's not letting me. It's it's not staying white. I'm just wondering why it's not staying white. Oh, and I have to go. Whatever. I'm screwing this up. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway. Yeah, that's the... Um... um that's it, just don't just don't screw it up like I did. I don't know why it's not going white. Someone can tell me how to fix that. Pretty sure the opacity is fine. But uh yeah. There's a lot more cool things you can do to this. Um Oh, okay. I just did control Z a bunch. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Uh after all it is a cool text. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. Oh, um, forgot to mention this. This is uh, Vegas Pro Mo Movie Studio Platinum 12. Um, it's one of the new programs I just got recently. I'm still trying to figure things out in here. Uh, my biggest, biggest thing I don't like is that it doesn't have masking. <laughs> so I could ask the people, they could just add masking to it. So thank you guys, and have a good day.